Hey class, this is an exciting time. You have gone through and learned a lot of the basics for research methods, and now we're starting to implement everything you've learned. And a lot of the assignments we've had is to help scaffold you towards this final portion of the project. So this week, we are participating in the Collaborative Replication Experiment Project, CREP, and we are working on figuring out your group projects. So I do have the overview page. I also have for your perusal, um, the IRB that approved the CREP study through Maricopa Community Colleges. I have for learning work that's due on Wednesday, I have you recruiting for the project. Um, so I don't want you participating because you have some kind of inclination of this and you are in the research methods class. Um, and so again, a lot of you had done part two with the IRB training back in week six. If you hadn't, please do that also review the IRB approval. And then I need you to recruit 10 people. Um, it does need to be individuals who are 18 and over. And so you can recruit them two different ways. Um, sending out an email, you're welcome to use or adapt my wording. The important thing is to include the Qualtrics link. Option two is to have them do it in person and to do the QR code. Uh, it is set up to be phone friendly to um, watch it or use the phone. They would need volume because part of it is watching a video. All right, so you're doing that. That's your assignment for Wednesday. Then you are going to learn more about the research project. So I have some basics in a Google Doc here, and then I have your group template here. Um, and so for the basics, please, um, by Thursday night, have read through the basics of the project. As a group, you're going to decide what kind of project you're going to tackle um, for that main learning objective to design and conduct and write up um, a research project. So option one, one group can do the CREP. So you still would do a literature review. Um, the data would have already been collected from the data we're collecting. You do the data analysis, which is going to include some qualitative, and then you'd write it up. Um, option two, a group's going to come together and do a correlational research project that's survey-based. Um, and so this one, you're looking at how two variables are related. Um, and you can think about it in terms of our dimensions of construct validity, um, a bunch of different things you could consider for that project. Um, but in the end, you'd be running correlations. The, so we would go through, you'd put together a survey, um, get it out and do data analysis on that. Experimental survey, you could do something similar to the CREP project um, where you are looking at groupings. Um, I am able to help you with designing a randomly assigned format for an experimental project. Um, and then the fourth is a quasi-experimental survey project. Um, and again, for two, three, and four, you, it's open for you to pick different areas that you might be interested in. In the past, I've had students do research on procrastination, uh, student success, mental health and well-being, stress, sleep, um, relationships. Um, so just think about some things you might want to do. Self-esteem, you've already are familiar with the Rosenberg self-esteem scale. So brainstorm, pick a topic or pick something you are going to enjoy learning about, looking at the research, doing, analyzing, and then critically thinking about your project and limitations, which is part of that discussion section. Um, and so I, if you need more areas, I put in a couple of different um, ideas there. Um, you're welcome to meet with me this week in my student hours or set up an appointment. Um, so this is a group assignment. I would like you guys to kind of hone in on something 
um, and then tell me and rank them. And then your rationale and your ideas or things you want to do. And it's just going to be a text entry, right? So it is Thursday assignment, but it is a group assignment. Um, so hopefully you'll have some time to discuss and work. Once you kind of think you guys know what you're doing or just have that basics, and I'll try to get back to groups as quickly as possible, you then are going to work on the group contract. Um, and that's your big assignment that's due for our lab assignment. And so the group um, contract, I have a template. I need each group to make a copy of the template and then add me as an editor and then add all of you as an editor. Um, the template is something to give you some guidance, um, to give you some information to kind of set up what expectations you have for each other, um, what as a group, how are you gonna handle missed deadlines, miscommunications and things as a group, kind of finding out when you might be available to connect with who, um, and, and the different pieces of the project. Um, and so uh, after we get back from spring break, you're gonna do big lots of planning, and then you're gonna go through and do that group literature review, similar to the assignment that you had done in the past. Then we're gonna get into the group annotated bibliography. As a group, you're writing the introduction. As a group, you're writing the method section. As a group, you're doing the data analysis. As a group, you're doing the results write-up, which is the analysis write-up. As a, a group, you're gonna outline the discussion and write a discussion. Um, and then um, once you guys start going through, I'll be giving drafts of all these different pieces. Um, and then you will have a peer review module where groups will be swapping with other groups to get feedback and maybe even to learn from the other groups write up of things. And then our final paper is due on finals week. Um, I am going to have some sort of share out with you guys sharing, doing presentations. Um, originally, I had put in that you all were going to do a poster. I've decided to make that extra credit. Um, and I do have a large print poster printer um, in Choya 101. And I'm so happy to make copies of your poster. You can hang it up in your room um, or just keep a hold of it as a memory for finishing this class. Um, there are different ways to consider leads and there can be different leads or different um, team players for each one of the major assignments. Um, so think about those roles and know that that can be a constant role throughout the whole project or it can be roles changing week by week. So kind of figure out whose strengths and weaknesses are and things like that. And then I have some general of the big hitter assignments. Um, and then the very end, you're all gonna agree with the contract. Um, and so that's the basics for the contract. Um, and people can reach out to me with more questions. You could also kind of decide, it would be really, really good to decide um, okay, everybody's going to do their part by this day of the week. And then we have a little bit of wiggle room if things don't quite get done. So then we can submit it to Dr. Bear by that time. And then I'm going to give you that rapid feedback. Now, once I give you feedback for these projects, you're going to need to implement that feedback into the project. So when I see the final product, I've seen those edits and changes. And so this is a constantly working cycle for these last couple of weeks of class. The good news is there's not new material. I might bring in some new material or new review depending on your project and the design of your project and what you're doing, but we've covered the material for 290 already in these first eight weeks. And so now it's for us to really apply and use and get that project going as one of our major learning objectives. Um, and so we will see assignments switching up a little bit um, these next couple of weeks because they're really gonna be based around these different pieces of the research project. If I don't connect with you before, I hope you have a wonderful